everyone welcome to the video we have uh, installed windows server 2019 so now we have to give it more vulnerabilities and we will actually make it an active directory so this video is about that first we will power on the machine and then we'll go to snapshot and then take a snapshot and name the snapshot as fresh install so if you want to revert back we can do that later on after that we will start uh, installing the script and make it vulnerable actually uh, windows server 2019 will make this system vulnerable so first we will log in and we are still in net network you can ch check we are having a host only adapter as well as we are in net network we have the internet access for this windows server machine we cancel it the windows server manager is booting up so let's go ahead first we'll minimize this and then search for powershell and then we will run the powershell as administrator so we have started powershell as administrator so let's go to google and then search for vulnerable ad active directory here you will see uh, by water execution vulnerable active directory you have to click this link it will open and we are using this actually vulnerable active directory plus so it will create a vulnerable active directory that's allowing us to test most of the active directory attack in local lab in our virtual lab we'll be using windows server 2019 and make it a vulnerable active directory and then we can uh, randomize attack you can uh, uh, do some attacks related to abusing acls turbo rostering then uh, password spraying smb signing disabled public smb you can do pass the hash golden ticket silver ticket etc so first we have to uh, do uh, let's return to our machine so here we are so first we will set our uh, execution policy and bypass it and we'll set it to bypass this is the first step and we will select all okay this step is done okay so we have to uh, install this feature ad domain services we'll to do that first we will set the execution policy bypass select all press n again we are getting error install don't give the ass here typo press enter again And 
this time it is working as you can see here start installation is going on collecting data Two percent done. Uh, you have to have patience. Uh, actually, it will take some time. We have some other steps to be done. Installation of AD domain services most complete then we need to import the module ADDS deployment that we will do next as you can see now we will module uh, import ADDS deployment import it next uh, we will uh, copy this script as we did before but uh, there was some error but later on uh, now we will do that script actually this is the script press enter and here uh, asking for the password we'll give a password matches uh, I think I typed it correctly okay now it is you can see the process is going on ADD forest validate environment verifying the prerequisites So actually we are introducing vulnerabilities making this active directory vulnerable so that we can uh, practice our ethical hacking penetration testing skills and tools while uh, in a safe environment and this is the part of our ethical hacking lab setup and we are making this windows server 2019 if directory a vulnerable active directory oh, it is installing new forest here you can see And the domain name will be change.me and domain name bios name will be changed so we have just copied and pasted the script from here this is uh, uh, this is the net bios name change and domain name will be change.me we can modify it but for that we have to also modify the power scale script so i'm just going with the script itself so after the setup is complete will be automatically sign out and then there will be some changes that will be applied and this will take a while actually so we can uh, just uh, go and grab a coffee or just uh, 
do whatever your pending task tasks are uh, for now i will just pause the video and continue when it is done the operation is complete now we are about to sign out it's rebooting now after it reboots we should see the newly created domain to us here we'll be using this uh, active directory and then we'll run this script actually this part first part is done we have uh, successfully installed active directory let's check still applying the computer settings here Okay, it's rebooted now let's go to the login prompt insert control alt delete to unlock and you can see we have the domain we will log in so after logging in we will again open powershell and then do the do rest of the setup make this uh, active directory vulnerable just now we have just I mean uh, installed the active directory so far for all let me pause the video and check for the issue run the script again okay actually uh, the raw link when i try to open it's not working and the same thing is happening like not able to connect using powershell so what i did is i uh, came to this powershell i copied entire thing like here till end You can see it's a long script and it will take some time when we run this script in our windows server 2019 active directory so we have to copy till here this is the name of powershell script and open the notepad actually and pasted it here and in user administrator where I have uh, typed notepad in PowerShell and it popped up I pasted it I mean the all the script I pasted here I will name it as same name because I'm not able to download it from PowerShell so I'm just copying and pasting it and then now save this now we have the OnePlus PowerShell script here Close the we have this powershell script we'll go back so we are in this process where we need to download this powershell script And you can also see the installation here we have an installation guide this is the network diagram and this step is already done we have done this step this is the second step so we have directly copied and pasted the powershell script now And to port this 
press enter now it is running as you can see we have the script and it is automatically doing its settings it will take some time said it is created in your market Select it help this group create it's doing adding some all this using that powershell that we copied directly from because this command is actually were not working then we can invoke one add active directory and then user limit 200 so this is next command we are using from the wiki installation you will find it here so you visit you will see the wiki section where you click the wiki you will be able to read more about this so we are almost done now we have to have uh, patience do your work grab a coffee or a power drink if you want to i'll just pause the video or i'll just run it so that you can see whatever it is going on so it will take some time then after it is done we are going to invoke this last command then we will be good to go means we will be successfully creating vulnerable active directory for our ethical hacking virtual lab then we can attack this machine for learning purpose now, now it is restarting oh, I think the script finishes uh, it finished so now the server is rebooting then we will be ready for hacking I'll be giving the demonstrations and the tutorial or step-by-step -step instruction but uh, this is ongoing uh, video process where we are actually setting up our ethical hacking virtual lab so if you want to see how we hi, how actually i installed this uh, rating system you can check my video uh, you can check my earlier videos okay so most ready can control all delete login let me also start a uh, better security operating system do a scan on this machine see if we vulnerable services see we can discover that work host only we're using that I'll start this machine the background will boot up we will check have uh, a NAT network as well as host only after network Check. IP address for this machine so this is uh, 192.168.56.7 56.102 is para security IP address One ninety two one sixty eight fifty six or seven is the Windows Server two thousand nineteen Active Directory. Now let's do one quick Nmap scan. The seven.
see whether we will find some yeah we got a lot of uh, open ports like we have domain Kerberos, netos ldap and these are all introduced using that script actually so in my upcoming video uh, install download and install couple of more uh, vulnerable machines and then we will eventually start uh, learning different tools and start hacking methodology and do penetration testing or ethical hacking in a safe environment so thanks for watching